beautiful. He does have a diamond. Oh, I like him. Beautiful. That one is. Woo! Hey, yo, what's good? You're all filmed. So yesterday, my mom actually went off and she got a couple koi for us uh, for the for the mini pond. Uh, I was actually filming another video on a boat, and uh, we we have this little koi, and we did a like a water change the other day, and we took all we took all of those little koi and we put them in the big pond. So this guy was by himself. If you guys know koi, you know that you're not allowed to have a koi by himself. So my mom took the initiative. She went off. She got some koi for us for the raw fam, and she videoed it. So let's go check that out. Okay, we are at the koi farm. Get two new grand fish to go with my baby. That's what he wants. Oh, yeah. Look at the diamonds on this one. Beautiful. We're gonna get two of them. They're gonna be about six inches long. Now we'll go with the other one. And just so y'all know where we're at, we're here in Davie. And we're gonna come see our buddy Evan. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Coming to get two grand fish. Well, that one's a nice one. Oh, he's cute. Do mm -hmm. you have any diamonds? Huh? Oh, he's beautiful. He does have a diamond. Oh, I like him. He, does he have is beautiful. See? Okay, yeah, I see. I like him. I'll put him in I there like too. him a lot. He's he is a good cute. One. That's a good he's one. smaller than what this other one is, but that's okay. Um, they're almost about the same size. I mean, no, this no, one, not the one you the have. Pond. Yeah, the one we have. that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, he's so cute. Her his face. You see that? All that red up top. Oh. <laughs> Hello. 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 Oh, I just think his features are yeah. just beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, just Perfect. beautiful. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you. No problem. So, Which more, I know the diamonds, that's kind of more value, holds more value to it. Not necessarily. So it's, it's just based on preference, I yeah, guess? Yeah, really. Okay. Um, and also, you know, patterns. Um, I mean, this one's nice as far as it's, it's Deutz, you know, pattern. Yeah, we like that. Um, this one, you know, it could be broken up a little bit more, so you can kind of have that, you know, in-betweens. Mm -hmm. um, right now, it only has like that basically one, two, you know, we would call it a two-step in a way because it has you know it's broken right in half so it has all that orange up front and then the orange in the back so it'd be considered a two-step um kohaku uh kohaku i'm happy yahoo we got our, our baby grandfish look at my grandfish so this is how you bag them up if someone was to come down and get some of course you don't have to even worry about bringing the cooler or nothing and the aeration that they, you bag them up nope we have the aeration okay now tell me about when we go home because franklin is out filming so mm -hmm. Tell me when I take them home, I've got the pond in the front, so yep. what do I do? You're gonna float the bag for five, 10 minutes. Okay. Um, let them adjust to the, you know, acclimate to the temperature. Okay. Um, put it in the bag. In the bag, And right. um, then after that five, 10 minutes, you're gonna open the bag. Okay. You're gonna introduce some of your water into the bag. Close, okay. Close it back up for another five, 10 minutes. Okay. Okay. And then when you release them, you wanna take them out of the bag by hand. Don't just dump the oh, bag okay. in. Okay. Okay. Very gently. You, okay. never, you never wanna mix water. Um, we call it cross-contamination okay. in water. So you never want to just mix water. It doesn't matter where it's from. So we don't want to let your water go into exactly. there. We so just want to add a little so flowers yeah. to there. So when the bag's floating in there, you want okay. to either hold it on the side like this, reach in there, okay. grab your coil, you know, one by one. Very good. Take them out and put them into the pond. Okay, perfect. And, um, and don't bag, let that water yeah. go in. Then that bag you want to take and dump. Dump it. Excellent. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Very nice for explaining that. Now, why do you have them in a bucket like that? This, I put them here just in case anything happens to the bag. Okay. At least they're flushed out into a bucket and not on the ground. Well, lucky for us, we only have to drive home 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so he, Evan said they need to sit in the water to acclimate to the pond water for about 15 minutes. So we're gonna put them in there and we'll sit them in there so they can acclimate. And then Franklin's gonna be here and then we're gonna go ahead and Franklin can do the release in there um, with the fish in there. Let's look at the ones she's in there, the white one, isn't she beautiful? We added some fresh lily pads this week. We ordered them offline and they came in. So they're pretty cool. All right, guys. So long story short, uh, it was already dark by the time I got back. 
So what I actually did is I took them out of the package, put them into a, 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 a bucket. Gonna put it in here, you wanna come look? See them? We're just gonna slowly put them in. You think they suffered at all? No. No, they're doing awesome. With a bubbler, I uh, got them through the night. They did awesome. And then uh, now I have these little guys in a little bucket. And this water's pretty cold because it's outside. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take the bag that they came in, uh, put it, let it float around for about 10, 15 minutes. And when the water kind of acclimates to the cold water, they'll be A-OK. -okay, they'll be good. And then I will actually take a little bit of the pond water and put it into the bag with them and then they'll be A-OK, -okay. the water will be the same temperatures, and I'll just take him, put him right in the water, and they'll be good to go. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna dump all of this in there, yeah. we're gonna put the bag in there, and okay. then we're gonna take this little bubbler and we're gonna actually put it in there. Oh, they are so beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right guys, so well, first thing off, right off the bat, we're gonna take this little bubbler, put it in there, uh, they don't gotta worry about now, nothing. Mm -hmm. All right, when, when you're touching fish, always remember, you, you always get your hands wet so it doesn't stick. The biggest part to a fish slime is their slime coat. When you have a dry surface and that's sticky, it's gonna try and stick onto that dry surface and then it's gonna rip the slime right off. So this kind of just makes it smooth and it, it just makes your hands soft. That's the biggest thing, soft. Has nothing to do with the oils and all that stuff. You just want it as soft as possible. The golden. That's cool. And the last one, which has all these beautiful diamond cuts on them. Yeah, it's going to be a very pretty cool one. This would have been my first pick. And then you can literally okay. leave them just like that. And there they are. So they're in there. They've got air. And then they're going to acclimate to the water temperature because it's a little bit colder in there. So we're going to... Like, yep. The biggest, the biggest way to tell is if you know that they're good enough, you click it, feel it here, okay. you feel this water, and then okay. you stick your hand in the bag and you feel this water, and whenever it's the same temperature, they're mm -hmm. good to go. That means they're, they've been acclimated. Okay. They're, they're, they're right there. They're within like a couple minutes. Okay. We just want to get the fish. All right, guys. This is our first koi. Beautiful. That one is. Woo! Oh, that's pretty funny. It's our second koi. Beautiful. Oh, that one, buddy. This is our third koi. That looks like golden. Mm -hmm. It's actually got beautiful colors. All right, Raw Fam, so that is going to be the end of the video. If you guys think my mom did an A plus job, smash it right here there is a little thing on one side of this it's a pole if she did a good job filming and she took care of this pond for me uh while i was making a video so hope you guys enjoyed the video i love you Ralph, and i will see you later peace all right guys so as you guys can see my mom did pretty good this guy right here this little guy um, that is a Kohaku, and it has the diamonds along the back, just like Goldie. Very cool fish. Uh, this one, I'm not too sure of. Um, I'm sure there's a name. I'll go figure it out. The cool part about going to Komakoi, uh, all these uh, koi are actually imported from Japan, and it gives you a little rough detail of what these koi actually are. And I think, as you guys can see, this guy, uh, an AKA Matsuba. Masuba, I'm not too sure, um, but I'm pretty sure the the strand of koi we have are on the lines of this. As you guys can see uh, right here, uh, Chagoy or whatever, uh, this is actually what Goldie is. Um, we have where's the Kohaku's? I think this is the platinum. Where where we can can we see scaleless? Yeah, this is the platinum. That is Fireball. That's what type of breed Fireball is. Um, then this, the San, San, Chui, San I, I have no idea. No, that's Tancho. I'm, I'm getting all confused, guys. Um, I think it's either 
Matsuba or Askajin. I have no idea. I'm just sounding out by letters. I have no idea. So these guys are doing so epic. I love my new little koi 